Hey guys, this is your pharmacist Sidra and welcome to my channel Ask Your Pharmacist where I talk all about health, pharmacy and beauty. If this is something you're interested in, then keep watching and subscribe for more. algae with tremendous health benefits. I use it as a protein source in my morning smoothie. It does not taste the greatest, but stick with me till the end of this video because I'm going to share how I make my spirulina smoothie, which is not only very nutritious, but very tasty as well. So spirulina, like I said before, is a natural algae. It's incredibly high in protein and a good source of antioxidants, uh, B vitamins and other nutrients. So when harvested correctly from non-contaminated ponds or warm lakes, spirulina is actually one of the most potent nutrient sources available. That's why it's very important that you buy a high quality spirulina to make sure it's free of any contamination. I actually get mine from uh, Bear Organics. I trust their quality because uh, they have the best organic superfoods created using processes like uh, freeze drying and cold milling, which is great to ensure the quality and integrity of the product. You can order spirulina from their uh, website, which is just the bare organic website. I'll put the link in the description as well. Well, the bottom line is whatever brand you buy, just make sure it's high quality spirulina because you don't want any contamination in it. Now, spirulina has some great health boosting qualities. It's largely made up of protein and essential amino acids, and it's uh, typically recommended to vegetarians due to its high natural iron content and because it's a plant-based protein. Now, it's considered one of the top most superfoods because it has really unique nutrition profile. It's a powerhouse of nutrients. It has vitamin B, iron, magnesium, and potassium. It actually helps flush out your body from any uh, toxins, including heavy metals. And by the way, when we talk about heavy metals, we probably get more um, arsenic in our diet than any other heavy metal because um, the foods are sprayed with pesticides now, which are loaded with the uh, arsenic. Since spirulina is a powerful detoxifier, it basically flushes your body of any arsenic or just any other toxin. And the reason it works so well is because it contains proteins and peptides that are particularly good at binding to the toxins and excreting them out of the body. So that way, uh, these toxins are not absorbed in your bloodstream, making their way into your system. If you struggle with recurring yeast infection, you want to use spirulina because it's literally great in balancing the vaginal bacterial content. And just like how spirulina is a magnet for toxins like heavy metal, it also attracts those candida cells, which can cause a vaginal yeast infection. So spirulina basically binds to these infection causing cells in your vagina and then flush them out of your body. And it actually not only balances your vaginal bacterial flora, but it can also act as a probiotic for your gut and brings balance in there as well. If you're vegan or vegetarian, then you definitely wanna start using spirulina because it's a great way to get that quality protein. I use it as my protein source in morning smoothie because it's raw, organic. It has no artificial flavors or any sweeteners. I used to buy protein powders all the time and my problem was that I don't like um, animal source protein powders and it's really hard to find a good plant-based protein powder because they're often not clean, they're not organic and they would have like added sugars, some have soy in them and so many unnecessary ingredients. So I switched to spirulina because it's all natural, it's raw, organic and literally it has no other ingredients and has enormous health benefits. You'll be surprised to know that spirulina also helps with allergies and boost your immune system. It contains a compound called phycocyanin, which is an antioxidant that fights off anything causing damage to your cells. And if you feel like you're coming down with cold or allergies or just everyone around you seems to be sick, then it's a good idea to incorporate spirulina in your diet because it's gonna give your immune cells that added layer of protection and protect you from getting sick. 
And this benefit is likely because spirulina actually reduces inflammation that leads to uh, nasal congestion and other issues. In fact, studies show that those who took spirulina uh, noticed a reduction in nasal congestion. They also noticed reduction in itching and sneezing because of the allergies. Another reason why I love to incorporate spirulina in my diet is that it's known to increase fat burning during exercise. It's high in antioxidants, which makes it beneficial in reducing um, exercise-induced oxidation, which can actually lead to muscle fatigue and inability to gain muscles. And even though spirulina is full of nutrients, it only has 20 calories per tablespoon. So you won't have to worry about those extra calories intake. It also contains an amino acid called L-phenylalanine, which has been linked to suppressing appetite. So if you're trying to lose weight, you're gonna simply love this one. Spirulina not only has these probiotic detox and weight loss benefits, but it's also great for your blood sugar, it controls the cholesterol, it also helps lower the blood pressure. It's literally a magic ingredient that's going to balance your overall health and well-being. I've literally spent all this time talking about the benefits of the superfood spirulina. You may be wondering that, are there any downsides of it? Well, some of the minor side effects of spirulina are nausea, insomnia, and headaches. In general, it is considered pretty safe. Most people experience no side effects with it. However, one thing to remember that spirulina may be contaminated with harmful compounds uh, that may thin your blood and worsen the autoimmune conditions. So if you are using any blood thinners or have autoimmune disorder, definitely consult with your doctor before using it. If you're pregnant or nursing, check with your doctor because it's often not recommended in that case. Spirulina is actually available in capsules or tablet form. Normally 500 milligram uh, tablet or capsule form is available. You can take up to three grams per day. So that's like six 500 milligrams tablet. I personally don't like taking tablets, but it's totally your personal preference. If you choose to take tablets, you can take all six tablets as a single dose or take two tablets three times a day. Either way, it doesn't matter. Taste-wise, honestly, it's not the greatest. It has earthy taste, um, tastes like um, seaweed or like a mouthful of lake water, which is yuck. But like I said before, I don't like taking tablets, so I add it to my smoothies and it masks the taste. And here's how I make my smoothie. I use almond milk in my smoothies and for this smoothie I'm gonna use one and a half cup of almond milk. Here goes the first cup. I'm gonna add a little bit more. Now I'm gonna add some frozen bananas and strawberries. Now here is my spirulina. I'm gonna show you the color of it. It's just so beautiful. Look at that. It's a very nice emerald green color. I normally like to take a scoop or two. And here we go. Once that's in, I'm gonna blend it and then you can see the final result. alternate this smoothie with my chia seed smoothie which is also packed with nutrients and if you're interested to see how I make my chia seed smoothie uh, click the i button or check out the description here's the final look of the smoothie I hope you like it enjoy all right so there you have it everything you need to know about the superfood spirulina also my spirulina smoothie recipe let me know in the comments if you have any questions and share your spirulina recipes i'd love to see how you take it anyways thank you for watching give this video a thumbs up share it with your friends and subscribe now to stay up to date on more awesome content on health pharmacy and beauty i'll see you guys next time until then take care bye